444 four, four, brothers, divine energy. Where'd your stage name come from? My stage name, um. Villa, we been. I didn't really fuck with a lot of people, I was mad anti-social. It's like, if you don't fuck with Villa, kill Villa. Exclamation point in the eye, it's for emphasis. What got you into music in the first place, like making music? I've always had a bunch of friends that made music. Before I made music, I was recording people in my room when I was like 16. Never thought I'd ever like rap myself. And I started taking it serious when I was only like 20, 21. So it's only been like a year and a half. I'm 21 now. What's, what's something that you're proud of that you do in your music? Just the people that actually, like, I've connected with these past couple months traveling and, like, just seeing a bunch of different people fuck with my music. What does Muddy Boys mean and where does it come from? Muddy Boys was um, created with me and my brother. Sipping lean a lot. We were just in my room really high. He was like, we're really Muddy Boys, for real. And then it became a thing. Where we come from, we struggle, and now it's... A collective of amazing artists have Young Lucifer, L.O.P., Blood Seeking. That's my music twin. Like we sound, we have the same style, but we have different voices. My boy Remedy, my boy 10K, my man's Oats. We got Prophecy Beats, Marco Made It, OK Lowe's, fucking Ream. We have a big group of people from all over the United States that we kind of just have an understanding. My man's Kamikaze. Probably one of the most dopest like guys that write shit stri strictly from just experiences from the streets. They're just all dope. And one of my closest friends, Kid Prowley, I swear people don't know who he is, but he's the most slept on out of all of us. All my guys are just really creatives and they're all artists in their own sense. And I'm really proud of them. And uh, shout out my manager, Mr. Fraser Prairie. He's from the UK, such a dope dude, and he kind of showed me the ropes of like how networking works, the internet, what to do as an artist, and he's definitely gave me the tools that I needed to keep going. What does being from Boston like look like for you or mean for you? It's a dark, cloudy place if you don't know what you want to do in life. I would just be in my room doing drugs, not doing shit. If you don't know what to do, then you're gonna go in the hole. Kind of just the hole that people in everywhere in the world can't really get out of. What slang do you have from Boston? <laughs> you guys got any vernacular out there? That's such a good question. Like when people say like on God, like people be like on dead dogs. Like on dead dogs, I didn't say that. On dead dogs, like I'm hungry. Like on dead dogs, like, I don't know if you get the gist, but. What does family mean to you? Doesn't matter who you are, the bad and the good. They understand you all the time, 24 seven. And it'll always be there. You say you got some tattoos. I have like a full sleeve here, I have Muddy Boys, my collective I have, Nirvana, the first memory as like really small kid, hearing shit and knowing what it is. Live fast, die young, this is supposed to represent my mother. The blood tear is like the pain she went through to give birth to me. And then I have four doves here that represents my brothers, Isaiah, Richie, Christian, LSL, I'm the oldest. And I, I have a sister now that she was just born, like she's only one, so I need to get something for her. This tree right here represents my grandparents. Life hasn't been easy, that's why there's no leaves on it. But at the end of the day, my grandparents were the root that made this tree even be alive to begin with. These Arabic letters, um, if I remember, with my memory shit, don't do drugs. Think, create, and inspire. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. When did you get your first tattoo? Right here, my mom's name. I was like 16, 15. I have like a V loan shut on my neck. I have my cross, fear God over my eyebrow, anarchy sign, I have bat wings on my neck, and then my arms are filled. But other than that, I don't really have anything else. Who in your personal life inspires you? My mom. She didn't have to deal with the shit that she dealt with raising me. Definitely didn't have to believe in me and defend me when I was wrong. The amount of money I would give her wouldn't compare to like what she's done for me, for sure. What's your favorite cereal? Captain Crunch. What's your greatest fear? I would say leaving this earth while 
doing the shit that I said I was going to do. I'm not afraid of death. I'm just afraid that I wasn't able to support the people that I wanted to support before I, I, I died. What in the world do you draw from for inspiration? Waking up and breathing every morning and not feeling like I wish I never woke up. What's something you want to get into? What do you want to do outside of music? I kind of want to conquer every element of art, as in videos, photography, fashion, being an advocate for people that like need something to express themselves in general because art is such a like an infinite hub of creativity and like it just all goes hand to hand so what's something you've learned through the process of making your art time is a virtue anything is possible the sky is limitless what artists inspire you lucky and um max b he i don't know like it's just just the sense of aura and like their music, it was kind of just always different. What is the word failure? Not being happy. I want to be happy in my mind and be okay to like wake up every day and want to do everything I want to do in life. The law of attraction, once you get the grasp of it and the components and the idea of it, you kind of just know what to do. It's natural, it comes second nature. What's your purpose? To be happy. I've dealt with so much shit in my head that I never really understood. And once I started making music just for myself and not care what people thought about it, it kind of just made me genuinely happy. My mind's been my biggest enemy since I was as young as I can remember. I just thought I was going to be a lost cause, but shit happens for a reason. What's so. the best experience you've ever had? I think the first time I got high, probably like the funnest time ever. I was like 12, 13, just smoking it down with my friends from middle school. That's probably one of my favorite memories. Any near-death experiences? This probably was one time, like, I got really high. I like, fucked around and I found out, and, like, I thought I was ODing. Um, I didn't really say shit, and I lied to my mom, saying that I needed to go to the hospital for another reason. I was, I was like, I popped, like, Zans, and I was sipping, like, like, four or five lines, and, like, I got really tired, but, like, it wasn't a tired that, like, you're not sleepy type shit. I felt like I was dying. Like your organs were shutting down? Too. Yeah. Have you written any, any tracks about that or like did you draw from that? Fun fact, I don't write any of my music. Freestyle everything. Definitely talked about that many times. How often do you record music? On my files, I have over like 1400 tracks. But lately when I, I've been working on this album, I've been like taking time with each song. It was like, it was like I was making like three, four, five songs a day. What's like the longest you have gone without recording something? When I was locked up, two, three months. Then it came out, started making music, same day. Music's my life. It's everything that makes me okay at the end of the day, so. What's a skill you wanna learn? To be able to make music that is universally okay for everybody. Not necessarily be in a category, something that's universal, that like anybody can listen to. Like what would you call? <sighs> Muddy music. It's, I'm getting there, finding it. Definitely trying to have my own sound. What's something artistically you wanna, you wanna do with your music? I've, I've always been like, someone that's fascinated with the nighttime. There's like underground parties, parties that people can't really get into because they don't know about. That's why I want my music to be played. You have to like find out like who I am and like find my music on your own. What's something people probably don't know about you? Hmm. That's a good question actually. I'm not as bad as people seem to think. Anybody that has tattoos or like calm demeanor and not really say much because they're observing a lot, just people just don't know or they're kind of afraid of what they don't know. And I'm really understanding and open-minded to anything and everything. What's your like five year plan? I just, I, I just want to be wealthy, take care of me and mine, take care of my moms, my friends that I grew up with, and just live the life that we deserve. We earned that shit, that we've been through a lot of experiences that we deserve to be in a position that we're not worrying about the next day or we're not worrying about next paycheck. Kind of just be happy and wealthy and secluded from everything else. Where's somewhere you want to travel? You say you travel a lot lately. Uh, I need to go to the UK, Europe in general. What products do you have on the way? Villa versus Villa, album, 12 songs. Definitely breaking the walls of like my old music. I'm here to 
make art, be an artist, not just a rapper. That's coming out October 18th. And October 18th is the day that Muddy Boys was created last year. Would you say that Villa vs. Villa, the new album, is that done or are you still working on it? I'm still working on it. This one is just taking a little longer. Just making sure every track is different. This is like the newest form of my music. Describe the, the kind of place that you're trying to put people into. I would say Muddy World. Honestly, it's like this thing we came up with. It's a complex place, but it's understanding at the same time. I'm still discovering it myself. What do you hope people feel when they listen to your music? I hope people feel the feeling of being high while having to take drugs. And I've been struggling for a while, so it's like, I want to make music for people that they want to know how it is to get high. You can just listen to my music instead of doing it yourself. If you could say one thing to the entire world, what would you say? The world is yours. The world is yours. You know? So. We here on the porch.